Two at five, it's a blind spot battle. Today, crews are changing a strip of parking along Armour Boulevard after complaints and crashes in the area. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez joins us live now. Andres. Yeah, Chris, until this morning, you could park here at Armour and Kenwood within these black lines, but it is no longer the case. The changes are part of a new pilot program that the city is implementing to address residents' concerns. These are the sounds of change to make this intersection along Armour Boulevard safer. A big part of this was the visibility right at the intersections, which is what we're prioritizing with this pilot. Today, public works crews move the no parking signs back 20 feet at each corner of Kenwood and Armour so drivers can have a better view. Yeah, I do think that'll help because you have to pull out so far to see on either side and then you're almost in the street at that point. For almost a year, 41 Action News has reported on residents' concerns, complaints, and crashes along Armour Boulevard ever since the new bike lanes were installed last summer. I just got to watch to make sure that these cars that are pulling out have seen me before I go in front of them. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they'll be looking at traffic and they miss you if you're on a bike or walking. So. With the movement of the parking signs came these vertical delineators. They've installed them in the no parking zones to prevent drivers from making their own parking spots. We wanted to um, preserve as much parking as possible because we knew that was a concern that the neighbors had. Uh, when you layer on the site visibility issues, you know, we have to have some kind of compromise. Besides changes to this particular intersection, the city has reduced the speed limit from 35 to 30 on Armour Boulevard between MLK Junior Boulevard and Broadway. So we are noticing some benefits, but again, we've heard we are listening to the community saying, you know, hey, there's still some concerns, which is why we're doing this pilot here uh, to, to address some of that. And now this pilot program is expected to last at least a month and depending on the feedback, they'll determine whether or not to implement these changes at other intersections along Armour Boulevard. Reporting live in Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.